The number one mistake painters and DIY enthusiasts make when setting up their regulator to paint cars is setting it up to maximum, ignoring the fluctuation between the high and low limit switch of the compressor. Today on this guy's garage, we're gonna teach on you a little bit. We're gonna show you how to properly set up your compressor regulator and your gun regulator so you get consistent, repeatable results. All this, coming up. variates from gun to gun but you got to deal with your consistencies so what are the consistencies in air pressure when you're painting so the first thing you're going to need to do is find out what the high limit switch is on your compressor and how do you do this easy you turn it on my compressor has a high limit switch set at 130 psi when it shuts off check the gauge whatever that pressure is that's your high limit Next thing you want to know is what is the compressor's low limit switch. So to find out what the low limit switch is set at, let the air at the compressor, leave it turned on, and when the compressor kicks back on, take note of that air pressure. Okay, now we're going to take some compressed air at the compressor and find out where the limit switch is at. Mine is 90 PSI. So most guns look for between 30 and 50 PSI at the regulator, and this is a high efficiency gun. It's looking for 30 PSI with the trigger wide open. That's unrestricted airflow. So this gun needs 30 PSI to operate here. Your gun may operate in a different one. Some HVLP guns operate at 5 to 7 PSI at the head, but they're still looking for around 30 PSI at the regulator on the gun. To find out what, where your gun operates best, start at 50 PSI in the regulator and dial it back until you have a nice even pattern. This video is not about setting up your paint gun, it's about setting up your compressor. If your gun is looking for 50 to 60 PSI at the regulator, what you're gonna set your regulator at, at your compressor is gonna vary by the length of hose you have and the type of gun you have. So what you want to do next, especially if you're getting ready to paint a complete, is set your gun at the highest operating limit, pull the trigger, watch your compressor gauge to, make, to find out at wide open how long can you maintain that pressure and what is the recovery. The recovery on mine is fantastic at wide open, it's actually still making pressure, it will shut off while it's opening. Your compressor may be different, it all depends on the compressor speed. These are things that you have to find out. So you want to find out what the recovery rate is. So depending on your compressor's recovery, you want to set that regulator on the wall between 60 PSI and 90 PSI. So if you're with your compressor wide open, if your compressor will maintain 80 PSI, set your regulator on the compressor. Because when you're painting, you want to keep an even air pressure. Because setting your regulator too high will give you a waveform. like this so you, your air pressure will be increasing and decreasing giving you inconsistent results so you want to keep that air pressure set at your wall at a pressure you can maintain this 50 to 60 psi at the regulator at the gun clear as mud they have an old expression around here give a man a fish feed him for a day teach a man to fish feed him for life so thanks again for stopping by this guy's scratch Hopefully we taught on you a little bit. This video helped you out some, you can hit that subscribe button right there. That's the best way to help us out. Watch another video right around here. Smash it a like button, always helps us out. Ask your questions down below. Leave your comments, your experiences. We're always happy to hear them. Every comment is always answered. Till the next time, folks. This, guy. this guy's garage. Like and subscribe.